is up ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's your boy back at it again with another big body banger today we're gonna be reacting to a video from tom hanks on the autobahn the german autobahn we all know that germany is famous for its autobahn and today we're gonna be checking it out and seeing what that experience is like in 4k or actually 360p because this video was definitely recorded a long time ago so if this interests you um go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you are returning viewers welcome back um we post videos every single day and um if that interests you once again subscribe and definitely hit that like button before we get started so without further ado let's go ahead and check this out and see exactly what we are working with let's go uh tom i'm guilty I'm tell guilty. me about uh, you were in the germany and i was wondering if you were over there working on a film i was working on a film called cloud atlas with halle berry and bunch of oh, cloud, cloud cloud atlas what a lovely cloud title atlas. What's, what's i don't think i remember watching that it sounds familiar actually but the i don't film think about that. Uh, it's very difficult to explain uh it's about the wachowskis and tom tick for directors it'll be out in a year and a half dave i'll be back to what chat it up source material it's oddly enough, oddly enough, it's a book called Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas, yeah. 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 But uh, <laughs> about a It's about pilot? a bunch of people together and all, all their time and, and how we are all but, uh, uh, what is an ocean but a multitude of drops. Very deep stuff. Very deep stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's going to go right through it. When in doubt, it's Have you ever been to Germany, Dan? Been to Germany a couple of times. Germany's yeah. a great place. I yeah. fell in love with Germany. What you did know, you do there? Where what, were you and what did you do I was when in, you weren't I was in Berlin. Film? I was in Dresden. I had the thing. And, and I, discussed, I did not drive because I, don't, I didn't know how to get to the studio. So <laughs> I had Racer X. My driver drove me every day. Race Racer X. That's funny because that's literally like... <laughs> That's the vibe out there in Germany, to be honest. The Autobahn is, is something fierce, man. Oh, my sure. God. Uh, yes, it was the best way to describe who he was. He was, a, he was an a, old driver in Germany. He's a race drive. car driver. Uh, yes, and he drove Jesus. me. Uh, and the thing, he, he explained to me the deal about driving without any speed limit in Germany. Oh, on the, yeah. the Autobahn. On the Autobahn. Yep. We, were yep. he was dri we were driving to and from Dresden from the hotel, and I said, why are you driving so slowly? In, in this area, you must drive 80 kilometers an hour. Oh. Because there was a little <laughs> sign, 80 with a circle on it. But when yeah. you go past the sign that says 120 with a line through it, the gloves are off, baby. You can drive. <laughs> you can drive. Really? And government is off your back in Germany. I swear, literally, it's like fast and furious every day. It's like need for speed all the time in Germany. Everybody is a professional race car driver out there, it seems. It is absolutely insane. It is insane. I can't wait to experience this for myself because I think the fastest I think I've ever gone was 120 kilometers. Maybe a hundred and, nah, off the record, possibly 140, possibly. But that's literally one time in my entire life, but I have never gone faster than that. And see, you guys are talking about going 300 kilometers an hour, you know, 250 kilometers an hour on average. I can't even imagine. That sounds like some spaceship type stuff, man. I can't, I can't do it. And I can't do can it. Drive. The man says drive as fast as you want. Is that right? And I said, okay, we got to drive back to Berlin. I want you to unwind this VW. By the way, I don't know what kind of cars they are. They're all made. They're all Volkswagens. In, uh, in, uh, in, <laughs> Kidding. In, do I show them? They might say, but not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. I, 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 listen, I sweat these bits, Dave. Don't, You're fine. Don't, don't pull these out, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know what? Try. Those five, other, those five other guys should just do the show. Yours, <laughs> I lose sleep over. Well, well, I've been working on these bits I since Halloween. Crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So I said, so driving back, I said, from Dresden to Berlin, drive as fast as you possibly can. And man, he did. The, the highways in Germany are as straight and flat as airport runways. Jesus. And I don't know how fast we went, but I think in the conversion. How do you convert it, Dave? Uh, uh, Paul? You just convert it as best you can. Do you multiply it by 100, <laughs> 100, 100 kilometers is 60 miles okay, an hour. Okay, I, I, we were going like 120, 130, which I think is 700 miles per hour. And we went, <laughs> we, we made it from Dresden to Berlin in about 17 minutes. It was Whoa, the most Jesus, exciting, but here's that's the deal. The fast. cheeks were pushing yeah. back like that. <laughs> slow down, racer up, slow down. Oh, my God. He actually did stop at one point because he had to pee. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and like this was all in a, in a Volkswagen. 
Well, they're all Volkswagen. Do I go to the... Not yet, okay. Dave. Dave! <laughs> will you read these cars before Sorry. I come on the show? Sorry, I've been busy. Later on, I, I drove that car. But I, you don't I, want to see it now. No, I'll show it now. I, now? Well, if we got time before you go to one of your sad sack commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be a wow. commercial for one of your films. Oh, let's watch it. Wow, he has footage of this? This is going to be great. Legendary, legendary. This is legendary. I gotta see this. I get to see this in in 360p. Let's go. Okay. Also, let's do like a check real quick. I just need to make sure because my computer, if if it can pull this off, we're legends, guys. Ooh, we're still in business. We're still in business. Apparently, my computer can handle uh, this reaction. That's tough. So now you're in, you're in Germany. Yeah, and, and I wanted to uh, drive. I wanted, Racer X, yeah. I wanted to see how fast I could possibly drive. So I called up the folks at uh, VW, which is the only car company in Germany. It's so funny because we all say, we say VW, and every German right now is probably so triggered. You guys are like, it's VW, VW, VW. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Germany. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are no other cars except VWs. Even if they say Ford and Range Rover, they're actually VW, the yeah. VWs inside. So I said, can I test drive a car? I said, oh, yes, we have a car. We'd love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they gave me this, uh, I love camper vans, and they gave me this VW camper van. It's called the California. And I said, this is great. And they said, oh, I'm glad you like it. It's not for sale in America. Oh. Um, I know you love, you did this with your own old Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I did. I have another old one. And yeah. my old, va my old uh, uh, van has a, you know, literally, it's a, it's a bus. Yeah, it's bus like wheel. this. Mm -hmm. These new ones, Dave, that, t that steering wheel is like this. You can right. shave like that. <laughs> and it drives like a fruit bat out of hell. This thing. But they can't, <laughs> there's no speed, is there, with these things? The torque, Dave. The torque. <laughs> the <laughs> torque. <laughs> so you can get that bad boy up to wow. easily, easily 130, 140. What? What? You guys I'm literally dead. made road missiles. That's what you guys created out there, yo. You guys created road rockets. How in the fuck did you guys create buses, damn near, and vans that can go like 150 miles an hour? Like, that is insane. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Were it you, was fantastic. Were you scared? I was, I was not. The only... The only time I yes, he was scared. Yes, one hundred percent. Because I know I would be. I'd be fucking terrified. But this is this I is. I got insane. scared. Racer X was scared the entire time, mm -hmm. because he also had to translate the German GPS, which always sounded like. <laughs> 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 you know, beer, beer left in two kilometers. You know, like. And then you're on for a while. That's time on Which is like turn, turn right at Poland. It was like literally like that. <laughs> and the, the two folks who worked for me, they were petrified in the back. But the only I loved it. And the only time I got scared was no matter how fast you're driving in Germany, someone is driving faster than you. Yes, I heard about that. So the autobahn seems like a pissing contest, honestly. Like. I asked a few people in um, Discord like the ex the Autobahn experience. I might, I might need to make another video on this. I've, I've only done maybe one or two and they've been reactions to other videos, but I've never done like an interview where I've actually sat down and talked to somebody and recorded it and uh, put it on YouTube. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But literally like one of the, the most common things I kept hearing is that when you're on the autobahn, you could be going like, you know, demon speed, and then there's always probably gonna be somebody almost on your ass, like on the autobahn. So you have to get out of the way, let them pass you, hop back on, go demon speed again, only to find that someone else in the autobahn is like, you know, on some crazy supersonic rocket, light speed, breaking time barriers and stuff, like on the road, you know what I mean? That's insane. On another note, I did hear that uh, there's talks about putting a speed limit on the Autobahn. This may be the start of World War III, guys. <clears throat> Just saying. I mean, what? <laughs> I think that's like the one place people could unwind is going, you know, need for speed levels on a, on a highway. But like, apparently that's, that's probably going to change. Hopefully it doesn't. But I, and hopefully it doesn't change before I get out there because that would be sad, tragic. It's like, oh, I remember back in the day, like, Autobahn was insane. Like, I got to experience it before the changes take place because that'll be crazy. That's right. And you cannot linger in that left lane. If you do, they will, the, they'll, 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 a lot of light flashing. they'll pull your passport. Yeah, that's Jesus. You got you to get back over. <laughs> and when another car passes you, when you are driving as fast as physics allowed, the, it does not pass you like, yeah, it doesn't. It passes you like this. No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, 
<laughs> you. <laughs> All right, in the comments, right? This is the part where you guys answer some questions. I need you guys to rate on a scale of one to ten how aggressive German drivers are, just in or drivers in Germany in general. Like, how uh, how aggressive are the drivers in Germany? on a scale of one to 10, because it sounds like you guys are on demon time when you guys are on that road, man. Like, I, oh, wow, man, I just be vibing, bro. I'm in the right lane, chilling. I have patience for years, like decades, probably centuries. So I can just chill there and just be like, cool. But there's a lot of people that want to get from point A to point B as fast as humanly possible for whatever reason. I, I mean, I don't know, but you know, and sometimes there's traffic jams and a bunch of other things and people get upset and they start flipping out. I don't really give a shit. So I'm just like, cool. You know, if there's a traffic jam, cool. Someone's driving slow, cool. Sometimes it is annoying. I, what I hate the most, what the biggest pet peeve, and that's another thing. What is your, so a pet peeve, if, for those that don't know, it's just something that gets under your skin. That's something that's just super annoying. What is the most annoying thing on the road while you're driving? Um, let me know in the comments down below because for me, um, as a chill driver, right, I don't have road rage until, um, you know, someone slams on their brakes out of the fucking blue. Let's let's say this. Let's say you're driving on the road and I'm going like 100 kilometers an hour, which isn't that fast. You know, it's not really that fast. Um, I guess it is decent, but it's not that fast. I think it's decent, actually. So you're going 100 kilometers an hour and um, basically the person in front of you goes from 100 kilometers an hour to like 50 kilometers an hour in the matter of eight like a couple seconds they just slam on their brakes and there's nothing happening in front of them they just randomly decide to slam on their brakes it's like a brake check now you're not riding this person's ass or anything you're like literally several cars behind this person um car spaces i should say because it's just you in the vehicle but then they slam on their brakes and if you like hesitate for even a second that could be an accident right there. That irritates me because I'm like, why in the world are you slamming your brakes that hard? Like, makes no sense. There's nothing on the road, nothing ran in front of your car. It's just a random thing. And nine times out of 10, it's incredibly old people, um, which is my third question. Do you think old people should be able to drive? Because I've seen so many accidents um, caused by old people. Now, old meaning like 70 plus. 70 years old plus and uh, I just want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below let me know because uh, that's pretty interesting stuff we got going on there <laughs> yeah that's right and a blur that's goes right. past you and you're, you could be sucked into their I mean, that car, you know, yeah, the car wobbles yeah, and sometimes, it, sometimes it's a red blur sometimes mm -hmm. it's a white blur yeah, it goes past <laughs> oh you my god like <laughs> but uh, I had a fabulous there. we drove from Berlin to Eisenhuttenstadt of course Eisenhuttenstadt, Eisenhuttenstadt. Uh, which oh, was hey, this was my, it was my destination. I don't know what that is. Eisenhuttenstadt is a it is a model city built by the communists in 1953 to show people the great and wonderful life that socialism would give them right up until the entire system went to crap. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, that's what they probably showed on TV. Uh, that, that was like a, a, how they used to advertise like. Oh, this is what a socialist government would be. Boom, 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 boom. But what was actually happening behind the scenes was some dark demon type stuff. It's, it's, a, it's actually an amazing architectural place. Where they, it's, it's a place where they're trying to re, uh, rebuild it so that young and old people... Fascinating mm -hmm. place. I love going there. A lot I, of cement. I, a lot of cement. Yep. A lot yeah. of uh, 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 building uh, uh, complex number one. And then we saw complex number two. Is, is then it, we walked uh, over to complex number three. <laughs> and then guess where we went after that, Dave? Uh, going out on a limb here. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Boom. Yeah. Veer, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't. Now it actually sounds cringe. It's actually cringe because before I didn't, I didn't know how to speak any German at all. So I'm just like, oh, cool, whatever. Like whatever I heard, it kind of just like, cool. But now it's like, oh Lord, oh no, oh no. <laughs> complex number Veer. Uh, now do I show the picture? Well, now you can show this picture. Okay. Now in the old days, back in the day when it was still called Stalinstadt, no lie. Uh, Eisenhuttenstadt looked like this. None of the buildings had paint. They all looked like this. And this is to prove Jesus. that that's me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that could be Photoshop. We don't know. Taking a picture, and this is what they looked like back then. And isn't that... He takes the most dad 
ass pictures, bro. What kind of picture is this, G? What kind of picture is this, G? What an amazing day. You know, I didn't know. I did. I thought that was Racer X. No, no, no. Racer X. Racer X was in the car. I he does not want to be filmed. From a guy who said who didn't speak a lot of English, but he said, "How long do you have for your tour?" <laughs> and I said, "Well, here's the bad news. I have a bit of a cold, and I got to work tomorrow. Yeah. So I got about an hour and a half." And he yeah. looked at me like this. <laughs> what the fuck? There's not enough time to see Eisen Hutton. But no, he was very nice. Is there ever enough time to see Eisen Hutton? So this picture, this picture, this is this is like from 1962, and that was. Bro, he takes the weirdest pictures, dude. <laughs> what the heck? It's essentially, the socialist store mm -hmm. where you would go and buy your orange at Christmas time, right. and your parents. Your orange? You just buy one orange? I'm pretty sure it's more than that, right? Socks from Vietnam uh, oh. in the spring. It's uh, that would sad, be all they had. I mean, but look, this is actually what it must have looked like. No cars, no people, no nothing, right. just a dearth of everything. But uh, what, does it mean? Stuck, what does it mean? Eisenhuttenstadt means Iron Hut City or Iron Work City because they, they, they built it for all the people mm -hmm. who worked in the iron mill that's down and, there. And this was to be oh. the pride of the communist bloc country. You would live there, you would work there, mm -hmm. you would dance at Komsomol dances, you would shop and get your oranges and socks once a year, and right. you would love living. It's like that at Disney World, remember when they had that community of Epcot? Uh, Epcot, Epcot, and then they had Epcot. that Jubilee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I do remember that. You could actually you buy, could a, buy house. a house yeah. there. You, and people still live there, and it's a, actually a gorgeous place. Now, this was, this was crazy. This was a sign that was in Eisenhuttenstadt. I believe. What I the believe fuck? That was complex number three, by Dry, and we we spent about twenty minutes trying to figure out what the hell this sign means. It literally looks like there's garbage in the middle of the street. There's a car about to hit this little kid, and there's a parent that's about to watch. Honestly, it seems like both of these individuals are about to get ran over by this car. And I don't know what that stuff is in the middle of the street. That's kind of creepy, but. <laughs> can you? Can you God, I do not know. Yeah. Because I'll See, I'm pretty sure that's why driving school in Germany costs like, what, 1,300 euro or whatever? Because y'all have like some of the weirdest little signs out there, man. Like, this doesn't exist in America at all. Like, the, what the fuck is that? There is not a single house in Eisenhuttenstadt that looks like right, that. Right. <laughs> and there, are no, there are no cars that look like that. This, uh, this person has been thrown out of a moving I car. I think so, yeah. That might be. Oh. I don't know. That's Racer X. We, we tried to. We, <laughs> I think we said what this sign actually means in an odd communist kind of way is no dogs allowed. Because <laughs> there's not a dog. Here's what you are yeah. allowed to have. You but can have a mad <laughs> child, you can have a child and a car, yeah. and you can have a house, but you can have no other thing. No, nothing <laughs> else. So, and all of this just ahead. 3.2 3. meters. I, meters. Meters? I don't meters. know what that means. I think meters? What? I don't, what? It means this sign has been hung 3.2 meters above the ground. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Now I'm making fun. I I, I had a great time You're making there. Making fun of the Germans. And I got I met the okay. Berger Meister, and I'm going back to Eisenhuttenstadt as soon <laughs> as I'm, I'm anywhere going, near the Polish. I'll border. be with you. We'll be right back. That's interesting. Very interesting. Well, let's talk about it. Eisenhuttenstadt. That's very crazy. I didn't know that. That's what that was called. But that's a. <laughs> that's a trip, man. That's a trip. Um, so if anybody has like a deeper, like maybe that could be another video on its own. Eisen, Eisen, Hutten, Huttenstadt. Um, I'll look it up and we might make another, a, a little video on that and do an internet deep dive on that place. Cause I have no idea like what to think of it or anything, but seems very interesting. Um, <laughs> But the Autobahn, yo, it's just, I've heard so much. I got to check out other people's experiences. I've seen a few already and it looks incredibly insane but you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below like i said we do this on the daily man um his experience sounded absolutely hilarious pretty accurate from an american standpoint right like uh from what i've heard on how fast people go on that autobahn because like literally like you go so fast on that autobahn like you know here like cops would be on your ass like they would that, that's a that's the fastest way one of the fastest ways to get five stars in gta in america like driving that fast that's insane so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um and also let me know if you like this angle um for video format type stuff uh in the future it's really uh i, I like it it looks pretty pretty chill you know but like comment subscribe turn your post notifications and all that fun stuff and i will see you guys soon 
um, in the near future. Take care. Love you guys. Tschüss. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point, and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.